2013 graduation ceremony. Would you please stand as the graduates enter the gymnasium?
and Lord, thank you for being here with us on this day of celebration and completion. We do not know what the future brings, but you do. We pray for the confidence to go after our dreams and the wisdom to follow your plans for us. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to fulfill each of our purposes. Thank you, Lord. In your name, amen. A toast by Sarah Latrova. Raise your glass to the sky with coats and dreams held high to the graduates I toast. Here's to the friends we've lost in game and the people we'll never know by name. To the bonds that we've made and albums we've built Memories that may fade but never be killed. Here's to the phone calls filled with tears, and to the hours spent talking away our fears. To the people we thought deserved our hearts, who now we bash and rip apart. Here's to the pictures and frames with stories to say, that we will be sure to pack when we go away. To the football games we have watched beneath the light, and our tears and chants at the end of the night. Here's to proms and dances and high school romances to homecoming games with some of the wins in our game. Here's to late nights we spent cramming for tests and mornings where coffee made up for our rest. For the dances and events we took months to create, the night before worries that came too late. Here's to the tears we knew we'd cry, to the people and places we say goodbye, to the wild and bizarre things we've done that we will remember to be the most fun. Here's to the letters we left unsigned, May our identities be revealed all in due time. So the relationships we wonder how we ever lived without, and the crushes we look back on and laugh about. So now it's time to place our glasses down, put our caps on, and turn our tassels around. Listen for our names and let them echo through, and realize how fast these four years just flew.
The spring was filled with many activities. We experienced our first day Hawkins Day and tested our true skills as a class. Only at PCHS would getting a lifesaver on a toothpick be a competition. Spring sports were in full swing as well. Baseball made it to regionals but came out with a loss. Softball ended up with an 8-8 record. The boys and girls track teams both placed second in the Coalfield Conference and 24 members qualified for states, competing in numerous events and ending up with a successful season as well. With all of these first experiences, we seldom thought of the graduation day that was awaiting us. But here we are. What we thought would take a lifetime really flew by, and we only dreamed about being gathered here today. Without each and every one of you, the class of 2013 would not be the same. To all of you, from freshman year to today, thank you for the treasured memories of the past four years and good luck with your future. With freshman year finished, many of us thought that we had jumped the most difficult hurdle in high school, that the rest would be a lot easier. Unfortunately, we were wrong. Sophomore year presented itself with challenges that were much more difficult and numerous than what we were used to. The first of these challenges was the plan test, designed to predict our college readiness test results. For a week, we stayed cooped up in our home rooms until the test was finished. However, this test proved itself useful to us whenever we all made our way to testing centers to take the ACT. Before Long Spirit Week was here again, pot bellies and gray hair filled the hallways on Senior Citizen Day. We got a test of the wild, taste of the Wild West with the theme of Cowboys and Indians for another day. However, we had no luck with Paddle Pub as the juniors took first place and our efforts still seem futile as the seniors won Spirit Week as a whole. But at least we weren't last. We were making progress. Our spirits were lifted soon after as we all started designing our class rings. We knew that these rings would be the first of many items that would remind us of our time here at this high school. And when those rings finally got here, you had to spend an extra 10 minutes in the hallway as people stopped to stare at those fancy little charms. <laughs> Throughout the year, we had many assemblies that can only be described as entertaining. Whether it was the awe of the world's strongest man or the comedy of Mr. Lindsay kissing a pig, they were all engaging in fun. Oh, and who could forget that basketball tournament when we all got introduced to Crazy Eyes Sup Dog? By the way, he's now changed his nickname to Sup Line in honor of Snoop Dogg. When May came, we met with our homeroom teachers and our parents to create our three-year plans. For many of us, this was our first glimpse of graduation and our lives beyond that. We eventually took the West test and for the first time, we took final exams. Overall, the hassles and the trials were outweighed by the benefits of learning. The comfort of being an upperclassman the following year was a big help to us. Finally, the year came to a close and we tried to enjoy our summers with as little thought of school as possible. finally arrived. As the class of 2013 walked back into the familiar hallways of PCHS, their feelings were mixed. We were now much closer to graduation, yet further than we expected. What we were not anticipating was that junior year was our most crucial and defining year. Our classes were harder than before and were essential for us to graduate. We knew we would be busy our junior year, but little did we know, all the responsibilities of being a junior would arrive without hesitation. Fall came with many tasks. One of the biggest being homecoming. Our theme was wild with pride. Our dress up days were better than ever, with each costume being accented by a wild twist. Our hallways were decorated 
shared with vines, animal print, and even stuffed monkeys. This effort got us to win the best holiday, and we were proud. Juniors also dominated the rest of Spirit Week and pulled off some wins for the year. Needless to say, homecoming was a huge success for the class of 2013. After our triumphant homecoming, fall sports shared in glory. Our volleyball team made it to state, and our football team achieved a lot when they were selected to play in a state playoff game. The change of season brought a transformation in responsibility. It was time for many of us to begin applying for the National Honor Society and to begin our quest for promised scholarship as many of us began to take the ACT. Our winter sports were also victorious as both the girls and boys basketball teams went to states along with the cheerleaders who supported them along the way. Finally, spring had arrived and the blue winter had disappeared. The warm weather also brought prom, and we had a lot to do. The theme of diamonds are forever, and a black tie theme was in play with highlights of sparkle. The junior committee was hard at work as they glued, taped, and decorated until the Marlington Opera House was transformed into a scene from a James Bond movie. It was by far the most ambitious and exhausting task of the year. Spring sports also started their journey as baseball, softball, and track got started. Many members of the track team even traveled to Charleston to compete in events. Spring break of our junior year. Our mentorships and realization that we were about to become seniors had arrived. Our bittersweet feelings were fading, and we were ready for the next step, and excited by the prospect that graduation was near. The time flew by, and before we knew it, we were walking through the doors of PCHS for our last first day of high school. Senior writers had officially kicked in, but there was no time to slack off. Fall was busy as we began applying for college after college, filling out numerous scholarship applications, and studying for a countless number of ACTs. We frantically worked to fulfill mentorship requirements and tried to get enthused about classes. Fall sports were underway. Volleyball, golf, and football all had good seasons, while the cheerleaders kept everyone encouraged and the band entertained the crowd with their thriller routine. Both the boys and the girls soccer teams played well and made it to the regional. Homecoming week kicked off, and by the end of it, surprise, surprise, the seniors had won everything. We once again proved we were a class act, even with duct tape. Winter started early with Superstorm Sandy leaving us without power and out of school for three days. That seemed to start the trend as we had a lot of snow days, helping senior writers to take effect. With new coaches, both the boys and the girls basketball team stepped up. The boys made it to the second round of sectionals and the girls hosted the regional game. As spring approached, although it felt more like another winter, Sports teams tried to get in some games between the raindrops and the snow flurry. Baseball and softball took their turn at bat and came home swinging after sectionals. Meanwhile, students from both the boys and the girls track teams made it to the state competitions in Charleston. Also with spring came more serious cases of senior writers and trying to fit in school among the fun. Knowing how much we would miss school in just a few weeks, we eagerly came back for an extra day, I mean night, and camped out 2013 style. Just one more example of the fun we've had the past four years. And today, as we walk through these doors for one last time, we are overwhelmed with emotion. Where we go from here is up to each of us. But wherever it may be, the class of 2013 should remember that life is a journey, not a destination. And I hope that each member of the class of 2013 will look back on their senior year as a fun and fulfilling leg of their journey. Mr. Sanders, Mr. Lambert, you can now officially kiss our class goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.
to my fellow classmates, congratulations. We are the Pocahontas County High School graduating class of 2013. The time has come and we are about to walk out of these doors for the final time. What we have known is ending, but the distance run that is our lives is just beginning. A run of endurance, a run of persistence, and a run that may be filled with trials and hardships. It will be a long journey. A journey that will define the things that you do, the person you become, and the legacy you leave behind. The most important step in any journey is the first one. In order to finish, you have to start. So to each of you I say, runners, get ready, get set, and go. Get ready. For years you have been discovering your hobbies, interests, and passions. You each exhibit extraordinary talents, abilities, and unique gifts that only you possess. I encourage you to discover your own passion. Do what you love and love what you do. You have the power to be anything you want to be. Don't allow what's popular to influence you because popularity fades. Don't let others dictate to you who you should be and the things you should do. Be passionate about your work and take pride in it. Aim to be better than you were the day before. Carry yourself with confidence. Decide your own path. Get ready. Your purpose here is important. Believe it. Get set. Prepare yourself mentally, academically, and physically. Challenge yourself to make good choices. Challenge your mind to think outside of the box to find solutions to problems. Challenge your body to endure the soreness and fatigue that can lie ahead. Raise your own bar by setting high goals and standards. And don't settle for anything less. Hold yourself accountable for your actions and learn from your mistakes. When you stumble over rocks, get mired in valleys, and encounter cliffs, you may be inhibited, but you will overcome. Life is uncertain, so never say, I always have tomorrow, or it can wait. Live every day to the fullest and take advantage of every opportunity. Make the most of your time here and never shortchange yourself. Don't settle for good or average, but strive for excellence. Get set. The course will demand physical endurance, mental willpower, and emotional strength. A difficult challenge, but one I know you are all capable of accomplishing. And go. Go out strong and confident. Move forward and keep your head held high. Don't dwell on what's behind. Instead, focus on what's ahead. Motivation will only get you started, but habit will always keep you going. Persevere down the course that you have charted with diligence. Don't allow yourself to crumble or break. Push yourself to do more and be more than the person next to you. Be persistent, be strong, and never give up. When your feet are blistered, when you feel tired, when your throat burns from dehydration, when your knees ache and the physical pain seems unbearable, keep going. Get into the habit of seeing all things through to the end. Go. Each of you will do great things in the future. Although it may be difficult, Find strength in the deepest valleys, the sharpest turns, and the steepest mountains. The time is here to class of 2013, the moment we have anticipated for years. Before we walk out of these doors as graduates, I want to encourage you to live a life without fear or regret, without hate or bitterness. Let go of jealousy, rage, and pride. Set an example, one that will help others find their way along the course. Live a life filled with peace and joy. Be generous, be humble, and show compassion for others. Help those in need, give thanks for everything, and never take a single day of life for granted. We are the light of this world, so let's live up to it. Let us use our words to strengthen and build others up. Let's make a lasting difference in the lives of each and every person we meet. Our distance runs may be long and hard, but we will make it. Be strong. Always have faith in God and know the best is yet to come. Walking through these doors four years ago, terrified freshmen, I for one never thought this day would come. In reality, now that it's here, I think we can all agree that the past four years have flown by. We never realized it then. But looking at where we first started so long ago and where we are today, 
it is clear that high school presented us with an opportunity. An opportunity to grow, to make everlasting memories, and to gain either the knowledge necessary for those of us who are continuing our education, or experience for those of us who are now entering the workforce. For lack of a better term, we are now a part of the real world. At this moment in our lives, we have mixed emotions. Our number one thought is, finally. However, as the excitement of the graduating phase, we are left with uncertainty about our future. We can be certain, however, that high school has prepared us for what we may encounter in our lives in more ways than one. As students, we learn how to write grammatically correct essays, how to solve challenging math problems, and how to balance ridiculously long chemical equations. We also learned that eight to 10 pages really meant seven and a half. But a squared plus b squared equals c squared meant we were in trouble because math now included the alphabet. And no matter how many C's, H's, or O's you added, the chemical equation never seemed to balance. In developing these valuable skills, we learned something much greater. We learned how to make decisions, how to get jobs, and how to survive on our own without the help of others. As we leave this school today, the members of the graduating class of 2013 will go in all different directions. Some of us have made plans for the future, while others have not. Some of us know exactly where we want to be in 10 years, and some of us do not know where we'll be tomorrow. It's okay not to know, as long as you move in some direction. Our parents, teachers, and friends haven't been lying to us all these years. It really is a big, scary world out there, and all sorts of terrible things can happen. We need to know that there is usually a risk and a reward involved in all that we do. And we need to have the courage to know the difference between risky and worthwhile. People miss 100% of the chances they don't take. This is something I encourage us all to remember as we leap into the next adventure in our lives. Knowing that risk involved in all that you do is one thing, but missing opportunities because you're afraid to take a chance is another. Be courageous. It's easier to correct your mistakes than it is to get rid of regrets. As I close, there is one last thing that I want to share. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, set yourself earnestly to discover what you are made to do, and then give yourself passionately to the doing of it. I would have to agree that by saying my personal philosophy is to experiment, to discover what makes you happy, and then to dedicate yourself to it. The things that you want in life don't always come easy. You have to work for them. This last year especially, I have learned that most of the time, the only person looking out for your dreams and your goals is you. Never stop fighting for what you deserve. There is one thing that I want to hold on to as I embark on my future is this. Grasp every opportunity with outstretched arms and hold on tightly. Remember that occasionally you have to open your own doors. And finally, when you think you've hit rock bottom, just remember where you've been, embrace where you're at, and look forward to where you're going next. Honestly, no situation is ever as bad or as hopeless as it may seem. I have confidence in myself and in the graduating class of 2013. Wherever life takes us, I hope it will make the best of every situation. I encourage you to always remember the friends and the memories that you've made here. And most importantly, I encourage you to strive to be the people you want to be, to travel to the places you want to go, and to never sacrifice your happiness in doing so. Congratulations and good luck to us all. How do we, the class of 2013, even begin to thank all of the people who have impacted our lives? It is only because of our parents, teachers, coaches, and friends that we have become high school graduates with big hopes and even bigger dreams. These hopes and dreams would not have been made possible without our parents. Our parents who have sacrificed their time to drive us to sporting events, help us with homework, and keep us on the right path. The same parents who took the time to instill good morals and values into our hearts. Not only our parents, but our families have worked hard the past 18 years to raise us in such a way that we can be successful. So to all the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, grandparents, and relatives, thank you for your support. Although our families were and always will be our main supporters, they had help raising us. The times our families were not there to help us, the teachers stepped in. Whether we had a question about homework or needed someone to confide in, our teachers have went above and beyond. They have provided us with direction, stability, wisdom, and most importantly, the tools we need to reach our goals. Our teachers have dedicated their lives to our education, and we are forever grateful for that. Lastly, I would like to recognize my friends and classmates for making this year of my life the most memorable for this chapter. Sometimes
times I did not need advice from my parents or help from my teachers, but I needed a friend, someone who understood what I was going through along the way. My classmates and I have shared laughter, tears, hardships, and great triumphs over the years. But today is different. Today we share a celebration. We would not be graduating today, May 25th, 2013, without the help of all our supporters. This is only the beginning of our lifelong journey, but your contributions will never be forgotten. Thank you.
Alyssa Nottingham. Parker White. 